I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this I'll always show up I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness if you want Okay, let's talk about superposition Now we're doing superposition Superposition is one of the easiest But unfortunately, in the final exam They mostly ask you about feminine and about pitch of slots now. But superposition also comes. Yeah, it also comes. But superposition is one of the easiest questions that you ever find. Are we together? One of the easiest. You won't find anything easier than superposition. Well, that's me being honest. Nothing easier than superposition. And what makes superposition easy is because they give you formulas to use. Are we together? Yeah. And you see, I'm anti formulas. Guilty as charged. I don't like formulas, man. But I'm going to give you the formulas here. And in order for the formulas to not leave your head, I'm going to explain where the formulas come from. Are we together? Sweet. So the first formula that you have, let me start by drawing the circuit, then I'll give you the formulas on how to calculate this. Alright, so in this case, we're given a circuit like this with positive, negative, positive, negative. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Now it's correct. And a power source. It goes here. This is a hundred volts, yeah. and then this is R one, which is equals to two ohms, right? Yeah. And then we move on to the second one. And the second one, you've got. Now I need you to pay attention to the polarity of your battery. Are we together? Yes. Right. So you've got this, that, this, that, this, right? Yes. And then you've got your resistor here as well. And then this is. Uh, this is E1, then this is E2, which is equals to 150 volts. Then this is R2, which is equals to 4 ohms. Right? Then we move on from there, we get to our RL. Right? RL, which means our load resistance is given at 10 ohms. That's our second. Right? Now the question says, uh, Calculate the current passing through the load resistor. Are we together? All these laws they are here to make us to make our work easier with the circuits. Are we together? Because our circuits are going to have more wires and they're going to be more and more complicated as you go along. So these uh, laws or these these methods that we have here, they are there to help us simplify our for our circuits. And then from there on, they're easy to calculate. Are we together? Yes, sir. So it, now, when dealing with superposition now, right, and Thevenin as well, they, they, they are cut from the same branch, right? Yes. When you're dealing with Thevenin or superposition, here is how you calculate two battery supply circuits. Are we together, right? Yes. What you do is you pick on which one you want to start with first. Are we together, right? So, you've got two batteries, right? Yes. You decide if you want to start with E1, you block out E2. Are we together? If you want to start with E2, you block out E1. Are we together? Okay. Or let me let me use a From different word, right? If you want to start with E1, you short circuit E2. Are we together? If you want to start with E2, you short circuit E1. Now short circuiting is removing the battery and then you just put a wire that flows through. So it's like the battery is not there, it's just now a wire. Are we together? We've now short circuited E1. If you short circuit in E2, you remove the battery, then you just put a wire that flows through. Are we together? Yes. So in this case, let's start with E1. So you're going to short circuit E2. Are we together? Yes. Now, as I told you, it goes by the formulas. Now let me write down the formula down. Now the formula says we need to calculate the current. Are we together? Yes. Right? Yes. And the current is equal to E divided by R1 plus R2, RL, all over R2 plus RL. Are we together? And then after that, right, is going to be, we're going to calculate the voltage. Are we together? Now, the voltage that we're now calculating is the voltage that flows through here. Are we together? And then the second thing after this is, we're going to calculate the voltage, right, that is flowing through here. In order for us to calculate the voltage, remember, pitch of second laws, right? Says, uh, let me just draw the circuit under it. 
This is the second that we are now looking at when we are fixing that thing, right? So this is going to be our second circuit. It now looks like this. This is now R2, right? Then this is now R1. And this is now R1, like this. And this is what? 100 volts, which is E1. This is 2 ohms. And this is 4 ohms. Then this is 10 ohms. Are we together? Oh, you minimize it here. Yeah. So we've short circuited E2. Are we together? Now, before you really move on, let's explain what this formula looks like. Eh? Mm -hmm. You see, remember from N2, N1, N3, right? Mm -hmm. when I, what's the formula for calculating current? The formula for calculating current. Mm -hmm. The total current in a circuit is equals to voltage divided by ohm's law. Mm -hmm. Yes. Voltage divided by resistance. How are you together? Yes. Or in other words, the total supplied voltage divided by the total resistance of the circuit, right? And our total supplied voltage in this thing is E. Are we together? Yes. So on top we've got an E. e. Um, how do you calculate the total resistance of a circuit like this? These two are in parallel. Are we together? And these two are in series with this one. Yes. You can see that one. Yes. So these two, we're calculating them in Parallel, which is this one and this one, and then you're going to add with this one because it is in series. Easy stuff. Yeah. And then after that, you're going to calculate the voltage that is flowing through here. Are we together? Now remember, this is our second here, right? And if we calculate the voltage here, it's going to be the same voltage here. Are we together? Yeah. Because these two are in parallel. Voltage in parallel remains the, the same. same. Are we together? Yeah. So VAB. Now the AB now comes from here because now we are looking at this point here because we want only the voltage that is flowing through our load resistor. Are we together? Yes, sir. So it's going to be VAB is equals to E. This is E1, or you can just put it as E. R1. Multiply by I like this. Are we together? Yes. And now the last formula now, the last formula, which is the easiest formula for how do you calculate current? Because we're looking for the current that is flowing through this point, right? We now have the voltage here, right? And we now have the resistance here. Calculating the current flowing through there is going to be easy. It's going to be voltage which is going to be VAB divided by R L. Are we together? Yeah. What are you doing? Easy stuff. Yes, yeah, there's a coming there. So this is everything about your superposition. Are we together? Yes. So these are the formulas and then these are your steps. Now after this, the only thing that you have to do now is substitute. Are we together? Oh, it's already simplified. Now it's already simplified. The only thing that we have to do is now substitute. But now you've already seen where these formulas are coming from. Are we together? Yes. So, so let's substitute. So our E in this case, uh, let's do it uh, this side here or here? Down this. Yeah. Let's do it down. Yeah. So let's start with I1. Yeah. Now there is a, a thing on top, which means it's not like the current that you want to use. So it's going to be I1 with a the one there, because the first current that you're calculating is equals to E1. All over R, yes, E1, thank you. Yeah. R1 plus. R2 multiplied by RL divided by R2 plus RL. This is calculating resistance in parallel plus the series one, which gives us the total resistance divided by, I mean, the total uh, supply voltage divided by the total resistance gives us the total current. Are we together? Yes. You can see it's very, very easy. So it's equals to 100 volts divided by R1 was given at 2 ohms. Are we together? Yes. Yeah, let me give you a calculation. It goes to 2 ohms. Yeah. So it's 2 ohms plus an R2, R2, which is this one, right? It's yeah. is 4 ohms multiplied by RIL was given as 10 ohms. 4 plus 10. What do you get your answer as? It's 20,588. 20,588 ohms. Are we together? Yeah. This is the total current of the circuit. Are we together? Yeah. 
Now let's move over to the second one, right? Let's calculate the voltage VAB. And VAB is equal to E1, right? Minus R1 multiplied by I1, like this. Are we together, right? Which is going to be 100, because 100 is the total voltage supplied. R1 is equal to 2 ohms. Are we together? Yeah. Now, remember, why specifically R1? Because this one is in series with the power source. Are we together? Yes. Switch. So it's going to be 2 multiplied by the current that you got was 20.588. What do you get your answer as? The answer should be 58. Point, uh, you say 100? 100 minus 41,176. It's, yeah, it's correct. Fifty-eight comma eight two four. Yes. Age. I'm awesome. Votes. <laughs> <I'm in> together. <laughs> they can see that. They can only see that for themselves. <laughs> okay. Now after this, let's calculate the current that is flowing through. Are we together, right? So after that is going to be I. Now this is the actual current flowing through the load resistor. Are we together? Yeah. So it's going to be V. A, B, divided by R, L, which in this case is going to be 58.824 divided by 10. Because 10 is our R, L. What do you get your answer as? And this one is simple. 5.8824 amps. That is our answer for the current that is being supplied by the 100. Okay. So, let's do the second power source. Now, mm -hmm. now here's the thing. Don't make things difficult for yourself, right? Yes, yes. That's always the case. Don't make things difficult for yourself. Make things very, very easy. If you can simplify them to make them very easy, yes. please do, right? Because there's no max for making everything difficult. Remember what I told you the first time. Make sure that every circuit is as familiar as possible, right? Or make every circuit to make sure that it is as closest to the circuits that you already know. Are we together? Yes. Sir. Switch. So in this case, let's draw the second circuit, but let's short circuit E1. Are we together? Yes. Sir. Now, tell me if the circuit that I'm going to draw is wrong or correct, right? Okay. So, it's like this. So it's then, short circuit number two. Yes, I'm short circuit number two. Let me label it, because if I just leave it like this, this is E2, which is equal to 150 volts, right? Then this is R2, which is equal to 4 ohms. Then this is 2, this is R1, this is 2 ohms. Then this is RL, which is 10 ohms. Tell me if this circuit is different from this circuit. This circuit is as correct as this circuit, yeah. because what I just did is instead of me putting this in between, I put this, I put the R1 in between. Right? Yeah, so yes. that this circuit and this circuit look a little bit similar and it's very easier to solve with the battery on the side. This is more familiar than putting it on the side and then just leaving that on its own. I'm learning something new again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, make sure that every circuit is as familiar as possible. Are we together? So that you don't have extra confusion in the final exam. Yes, sir. Right, let me remove this formula. Thank you, sir. Okay, so let's start. I'm going to rewrite them again as well. So let's move over to the second part, right? It's going to be E1, but then in this case, that's now 2, right? Because we're now using the second battery. Yeah. It's going to E2 all over. This is now no longer R1. How do you do Because R1 is no longer in series with the power source. Which means you say, I'm saying R2. Because R2 is in series with the power source. How do you so it's now R2 plus, and R2 then it's now R1 multiplied by R1 all over R1 plus R1. Are we together? Switch. Yes. Now let's do the substitution there. Now pay attention to the polarity of the battery. That will come in handy later on. Right? So our total voltage is 150 divided by R2, which is equal to? Where's my R2? 4 ohms, right? Yes. My handwriting is bad. <laughs> 4 ohms plus R1, which was given it 2 ohms multiplied by 10 over 2 plus 10. Uh, if we do the mathematics, what do you get? Uh, on, top is, on, top, on top is 20, 26, 
Perfect. 26,469. <laughs> so let's do A, B again. And this time we put it to the top, right? To show that we are now using the second power source. So it's equals to E2 minus, instead of R1, it's now R2, right? And this I12. Are we together? Yes. Switch. Ah, that's perfect. Almost done. So it's now equals to 150 minus R2, which is given at. 4 ohms, right? Yes. Multiply by 26.469. What do you get your answer? Six. What do you get? Um, I'm getting... I'm getting 44,124. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, I still got it. <laughs> That's perfect. Okay, so now let's move over and let, let's calculate the total current, right? Uh -huh. This one was one. Let's calculate the second one. I2, right? Oh, this is the current produced by the second battery. So it's going to be V, and then don't forget that thing on top, AB divided by RL, mm -hmm. right? Which is going to be, our voltage was 44.124 divided by 10. Your answer is going to be 4,4124 uh, amps, right? This is the current that is being produced by the second battery. Are we together? Now let us move over to the last part, right? Now for the last part, because now this is where I want you to, to look at the polarity of your batteries. Right? Now our batteries are facing the same direction, which means the current from this battery plus the current from this battery is all being fed into the load resistor. Are we together? Yes, sir. So for the last part, it's going to be I1 plus I2, which is 4,4124 plus the current that you got here was... 5.8824. If you add everything, what do you get? Mm, I'm probably getting 10, comma something. 10, comma 3. 10, comma 3 something. Yes, it's 10, comma 2948. 10, comma 2948. 2948. Yes. This is the current that is flowing through the load resistor. Are we together? Now, if the question comes and says, calculate the voltage drop, right? You now just multiply this current and this resistance, you get the voltage drop. Yes. If the question comes and says, power, power is equal to I squared R, right? You just square this current, you multiply it with the resistance. Are we together? Yes. But this is everything that you need to know about superposition. Now, if the circuits come upside down, inside out, don't forget that the fundamental principles are still the same, right? Where is the total voltage divided by the total resistance, right? And then after that, you now calculate the voltage that is flowing on the load resistor. Are we together? Yeah. After calculating the voltage flowing on the load resistor, you then calculate the current. That's the fundamental principles of superposition. Are we together? Yes. And then after that, if these two power supplies, you then add the currents that are flowing through. Yes. What do you think? Easy stuff or difficult? Yes, easy stuff. Sir. Very, very easy. 